All right, now that the front panel has been glued together, you can see there we got to plane it to size and through the magic of editing, it'll just take one pass. So I've got two front panels that are roughly measured properly. I still have to do a little bit more thickness uh, adjusting. That's a little bit thicker, but I want it to finish on it being thicker than thinner. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more fitting, uh, basically on the width and the height of it as well. This is too big for the front panel, but uh, it's where we're at now. Next thing I'm going to do is fit the back pieces and get those glued on. So we'll move to that. When picking which side I want to use as the back or the front, I try to see if there's some characteristic in the in the cabinet that I don't like, that I just want in the back. This one, I really don't have any. So what I'm gonna do is just put this down and then I'll draw it out with a pencil and then I'll cut it out. So this way it'll be fit custom to this speaker. And I'll do the same thing with the other, then we'll get this thing glued up. So I get that all nice and flush, so I don't have to do anything to cut on this side. Then I'll just trim that off on the table saw. This is very square, so I just run it through the table saw where I mark it. And then on the back, I just do a cross cut and that will be custom fit to this cabinet. All right, so I got everything all clamped up and glued. So we will let that dry. I am using the front panel just as a protection for the edges of the cabinet. That way we don't put any gouge marks in it from the clamps because there's a ton of clamp pressure on there. And this way, if there are any gouges that get put into the front panel, I could just sand those out. It doesn't affect the fit of the panel. All right, so now I've got the back panel all glued on there. You can see it's a nice tight fit and I've got it all sanded. But on this one, you can see that little black line there. The piece on the left of that line twisted a little bit. And so when I uh, put the back panel on there, there was a gap there and it was only towards the front of, uh, or towards the outside. If you look on the inside, you can see a little bit of glue. But when I put the, the crazy glue on there, it didn't leak through. So then I just uh, sprayed the accelerator on there, let it dry and then I just sanded it clean. So when the panel, when the wood turns dark, you won't even be able to notice that, but this is kind of the problems that you get when you build these by hand. And so there it is. All right, next up, I think what I'm gonna do is I'll draw on where the terminal cups are gonna go and where the vent tube is gonna go. And then I'll put in some bracing. And after that, we will get the front panel all mapped out. All right, so I've got them marked out. The terminal cup will go 60 millimeters up from the bottom and the vent tube will go up 180 millimeters from the bottom. And we're ready to, to cut some holes. I fit the front panel to each cabinet. So I mark this one, that's cabinet A. And there's a marking, equivalent marking on the front. But what I end up doing is I line up these lines. I'll just, I'm not gonna do it right here. It's too hard with one hand, but um, I line it up. I come around back and I've got a marking there too so that I line that up and those are all centered. And then I just go around it with a pencil and I mark it off. And then I cut it on the table saw. So it's perfectly fit and centered, and then I glue it up.